Joni Patree and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'd like to talk about the 26th nakshatra, which is Uttara Bhadrapada, which extends from 3 degrees 20 minutes to 16 degrees 40 of the sign of Pisces. So it's completely contained within the, sign, the water sign Pisces. So its symbol is the back legs of a funeral cot, and it is called the ladder happy feet. So some instances, its symbol is a snake underwater, or the deity is referred to as the serpent of the deep, the deep waters. And what that means is how profoundly deep and analytical these individuals can be. The star, the fixed star that's relative here is Al Janeb, which is the tip of the wings of Pegasus. And this gives incredible oratory abilities, just like with the Purva Bhadrapada, they have speaking abilities as well, but this one's particularly pronounced. Uh, and of course, this is another one of the highly evolved intelligent nakshatras. It is very much a profound nakshatra when it comes to intelligence, depth, and particularly wisdom. This, this nakshatra is kind of deep understanding, knowledge, and all-knowing. Uh, it has a very responsible nature. They feel a sense of responsibility to help others, extremely compassionate because it is of the water nature. And the serpent of the deep is represents the fact that they feel alone and secluded many times, unconnected. But this nakshatra possesses the power of kundalini energy, of the power of raising that vibration through the spine and, and achieving a higher sense of consciousness through this kundalini energy. It's a very mystical, spiritual nakshatra and represents knowingness and psychic ability that is very profound. People with this have this ability. They're very mystical, spiritual, uh, but all knowing and psychic. They do need to have their time alone. This is where a lot of their visions come to them. They are visionaries. Agni is an important here. Agni represents fire. So that represents that this nakshatra is a, a nakshatra that has a cleansing quality to it. And a, but at the same time, a very fiery nature. So it's sort of like cleansing through fire, burning away of karma and difficulty. So this is what they possess. They will possess the power to cleanse their, their karma from many lifetimes. So this is also called the warrior star because they are so protective. They are going to protect others, are going to protect people in their family. They, they are definitely about security and protection. And generally they honor and respect, just like the Purva Bhadrapada, Uttara Bhadrapada, has a deep connection to family and has deep respect to their heritage and their family and protective of their family. And usually they say they have very good children. So it's a nakshatra that, that is respectful and cares and wants to have children. And they can be very sacrificial. They can give up so much for others and their need to love and be loved. This one is a lot milder than the, the former, which is uh, the Purva Bhadrapada. It's a lot milder, a lot softer and sweeter, whereas the other one can be more high powered and dramatic. This one's a little kinder, but sometimes it can be a little lazy and standoffish and apathetic, but it is a very powerfully, uh, noted nakshatra for their intelligence, wisdom, and the, their ability to truly get to the core, the essence of things. They think deep. They're extraordinarily profound in their thinking and their knowing. They're very, very old souls. So 
with their psychic insights, they can do things like such as be psychics or be astrologers. This is a very deep nakshatra that thinks beyond, beyond this world. So another thing is their depth of wisdom and their lack of ego can tr transcend this world because they are really concerned with the all-knowing in higher consciousness and they really want to make a difference. So one thing that's really incredibly significant about this nakshatra, because of their deepness and connectedness to family, you will find, now remember Purva means former, Uttara means latter. So in the second part of life, many times they come into big inheritances. I've seen this time after time for people that come into really large inheritances, especially in the second part of life. This is the nakshatra that they will have, Purva Bhadrapada, especially, for example, if they have Jupiter in Purva Bhadrapada in the eighth house of inheritance in the second part of life, they will come into a large inheritance. So this nakshatra generally is extremely wealthy. You will find people with this nakshatra to have extreme wealth and usually it is inheritance and it is through family. But remember, this nakshatra is so deep, so profound and has psychic ability and generally you will find individuals with this nakshatra strong to be very involved in metaphysical, spiritual uh, realms of discovery because this is what they're truly about and they are all knowing and extremely deep and wise. So with that I would like to close. If you would like to learn more about Vedic Astrology you can go to my university which is universityofvedicastrology.com and if you would like a reading and learn more about me, you can always go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org. Thank you.